Good afternoon, tubers of the RC Universe. Welcome to RC Helicheck UK for what is going to be the third instalment on the Long Ranger helicopter. Uh, as any of you know that watched the video that I up, go away, wasp. As any of you will know that watched the video that I put up the other day or yesterday or whenever it is you're watching this, um, I got into the colour scheme with the red and had still bits and pieces to do. Uh, I took a trip this morning to the old uh, hobby craft store and got some more paints and whatnot, ready to carry on with it. And this is how she is at the moment. I've got more white paint that I need to add to this here because as I showed you in the other video, it's just slightly off colour where I didn't quite get it quite get it right. Uh, I need to do get off light. I need to do a bit of touching up and a second coat on the undercarriage and the trim colours need to be put on as well of which I've got all this here um, to do all that and every other bit and piece that I need so let's uh, let's get on with it guys I'm gonna do that nose first and give that its second coat to make it uh, a little bit better with this and then we'll start masking it all off and add the black um, that I need to add and put all the trim striping and pin striping on it that i'm going to be doing so yeah it's going to be a good one hopefully we'll be able to get quite far and uh, get it near enough finished so let's go Right guys, I've just, <laughs> I've just wet sanded the fuselage, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, but talk about a turn in the weather. Um, not an hour ago, the sun was out, it was scorching hot, sitting at 29 degrees. It has now suddenly gone overcast, it's just started raining. We've got a thunderstorm cracking off over there in the distance. Uh, and it's coming this way. So this could be interesting. But yeah, this has just suddenly come from nowhere. So I think it might get a bit wet in a bit, but hey ho, it's not going to affect us with what we're doing. There's the nose, just leaving it out here to air dry. Like I say, I've just wet sanded it using these pads. These are 1200 grit sanding pads. Uh, I get them from my local uh, auto stores. Here in the UK, it's called Halfords. Um, basically, it's an O'Reilly's, um, but a UK version, except shitter than O'Reilly's. O'Reilly's is far better. Anywho. Use that with soapy water and I've just rubbed over the whole of the fuselage so it is now as smooth as a baby's bum. Um, I've got all the overspray off and made it look really, really nice and smooth. And I've also done the same to the main section of the fuselage, which is over half. I've also done the same to this, just give it a wet sand um, and it is now all nice and smooth. My next bit is putting on the black trim um, which I shall do in a minute um, this has had three coats of paint in total and giving it a wet sand uh, basically means I can safely sand it and not have any worries about the paint coming off however when I did, when I did wet sand it because oh no I thought that was rain when I did wet sand it, all this red paint, obviously like the loose stuff, was bleeding into the white and I was like, don't. I was expecting it to stain the white, but it didn't, it just washed straight off. So yeah, starting to look good. Now we're gonna go into the trim and uh, you're gonna watch in the high speed futuristic fasty twat me mode. See you in a sec.
Right, so we are getting there slowly, guys. Pinstriping is a long process. It is something that takes time. I don't know how long it's going to be on that time lapse that I just did, but it is really, really time consuming. Um, although I'm getting there, I mean, still got a bit to do, but the back bit of the helicopter, as you can see, is already done. Is now done, I should say. Um, God, tell you what. We've just had a thunderstorm um, and the air has gone stupidly humid. Um, it's still spitting my rain now, as you can see. Um, but that, that was the storm, that was the thunderstorm. That's just passed over us. Look how black that is out there. Now, I know you guys in the States think, that's a baby. It probably is, but to us, you know, getting stuff like this is pretty rare in the summer, especially with the shit one that we've had. But the sky is clearing, the air is slowly getting clearer, and the windsock is just hanging like my... Well, I don't need to say. But it's going to get hot again in a bit because that clear sky that's over there is coming towards me. So when the sun comes out, it's going to go horribly, horribly muggy, uh, humid. Anywho, let's get back to this bloody thing. Right, so, undercarriage. That's, uh, that is that bit done. Now I've got the windows to be painted black. I'm going to paint them black. I'm just going to paint them black. I'm just going to do it black, 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 black. Um, but I've also got a um, stripe, which is quite predominantly thick at the back here, that splits into two. Uh, and basically the top half comes all the way down to the nose underneath the main window uh, and the bigger one kind of follows the contours of these here underneath so I'm going to get that that's my lightning tracker going up so I'm going to mask off the I'm not going to use trim tape for that because I haven't got any wide enough I'm actually I'm going to trim it um, mask it off and uh, airbrush it on I think but what I might do as well, while I've got the black paint out to do that, I might try and mask all this lot off, all the windows off, and I might as well do them as well at the same time. Uh, it's going to be a bit time consuming, that is. Uh, do I do a time lapse and get you to watch me and get bored to tears and die? Or do I do it off camera and come back to you when it's done and then do a time lapse with me airbrushing it? I'll do it that way, I think. I'll see you in a sec, guys. It will be for you. It's going to be about three hours from me, I reckon. That has just took me hours to mask all that off on both sides like that absolute hours right time to get the old faithful uh what's it called airbrush and uh give it a coat of black and then go we had that thunderstorm it was windy the temperature dropped the storm passed the wind dropped and the humidity hit me like a steam train on four boilers it is muggy as hell anyhow let's get the air compressor set up and get the old paints mixed and whatnot and we'll start putting the black on Whew. see you in a bit guys right trusty steady air compressor and airbrush is all up and running i'm going to uh mix paint quick put it in ug flip and then and you we go Laps mode. Well, I don't know if you've seen then. Um, in that time lapse, I doubt it, but I was having issues with my hairbrush um, getting paint splatter somehow. The needle had bent, uh, so I've just rectified that. So hopefully, everything's okay and I'll be able to start painting again. Right, here we go.
There we go guys, I'm not going to lie, that was a pain in the sphincter. Um, I've got little bits of overspray um, around like edges and whatnot. You probably saw me with an alcohol wipe trying to get what I could off there. But it's probably better to leave it to dry and then I can wet sand it off. Um, it won't take much to get off. But yeah, that was a pain to do that. I'm not going to lie. Um, but it seems to have worked, it seems to have covered it and we are now looking a lot better with windows I could have gone for a different colour with windows but because the aircraft has got black on it anyway I thought you know what most of the helicopters when you see them flying with clear windows they look black anyway in the sky so it doesn't make much difference but yeah she's coming along so I'm going to leave it out here for 10 minutes, half an hour, let that black primer go off um, and then uh, hopefully it'll be dry enough for me to peel tape off because I don't fancy leaving the tape on because this masking tape, uh, if you leave it on too long, it tends to pull the paint off. It's all right for short periods of time. But yeah, that's not, not what you reckon, guys. Not looking too bad, is it? So, oh, I am running out of time again. So it looks like this is going to have to be a part four. Um, but we'll certainly get this lot. I mean, I don't know how long this video is going to be, actually, what I've done. So, it's probably only about 20 minutes long. But, uh, we'll have to do a part four, which is literally just finishing, tinkering, putting the mechanics back in. I need to lacquer it all first, and then put the mechanics back in. How I'm going to lacquer this, how I'm going to seal it all in. I've got two lots of rattle cans. Um, one is a satin primer. The other one is a gloss. Um, I'll spray the whole model with the satin primer first let that dry which will take about 20 minutes give it a quick sand down and then spray it again with the satin again leave it for about 20 minutes half hour to go off give it a wet sand and then finally finish it off with two coats of gloss clear uh, that will seal everything in that will stop the paints from chipping, the decals that I put on from moving and all that kind of crap. Um, so, yeah, and then when she's finished, that'll get a wet sand and then it'll be tea cut. Or should we say, uh, what's the word we use? Not tea cut. Come on, Rob. I'll use a cutting compound, basically, um, on the lacquer. Uh, a very fine cutting compound and polish it all up so she's going to look shiny when she's finished. So yeah, let's uh, get this paint dry and then we'll peel off the tape and see how it looks. Right guys, this is dry. Let's uh, peel the tape off and see how much of a mess I've made with overspray and how much I've missed and where I went wrong. Um, ah, I hate this bit. Back in a bit.
let me go. Ah, took just as long to take the tape off as what it did putting it on. Uh, but yeah, so we're getting there. We are getting there slowly. But yeah, I've screwed up in a couple of places that I've noticed. This like line that goes through the window here, I masked it off wrong and I missed that bit there that needs to be painted in uh, overspray remember me saying to you yesterday make sure you mask everything off that's what happens when you don't do it properly when you're rushing but yeah a couple of places to tidy up a few tiny little bits of overspray on the nose there and on the nose there and on the side there but I can wet sand all that off um, so that's not going to be a problem but there we go we are almost there um, I'm gonna call it quits on that guys it is muggy as heck up here and I need to get going because I got work early in the morning so um, I'll have to do another video on this but what we've got left literally is tidy it up um, and then seal it all on make the lid for the uh, beast X and the exhaust bit where that goes I can't find the fiberglass exhaust that came with this uh, I've been looking for it everywhere and I cannot find it but yeah basically get all that sorted and then put the registration on get it all uh, sealed with uh, satin finish give it a couple of coats of that give it a wet sand and then give it a prime uh, sorry give it a coat of uh, shiny primer and uh, shiny primer shiny lacquer and then uh, yeah it'll be ready to have the mechanics put back in it so yeah there we go guys i'm knackered right so yeah thanks for watching um i know it's only a short one well i'm assuming it's going to be a short one but uh, yeah we'll get uh, we'll get some more of this done hopefully in a couple of days um if i get a day off in the week i'll do some more then and hopefully we'll be able to get it finished but yeah, thanks for watching guys. Usual, like, subscribe, malarkey, notification, ding, ding, bell. And uh, I will see you in the next video. See you soon.